What's up guys, it's Josh again with the second material video for the Unreal Editor and I'm once again uh, developing Project Torture. So if you guys want to you know, check out that page, that's pretty sweet, Project Torture on Facebook. Anyway, real fast, we're going to run through another material um, video. Last time we worked with colors and how to lerp them and like mess with like the roughness parameter. You guys probably remember that. Well, we're going to play with something very similar and very quick. Instead of colors, today we're going to use pictures. Let's say you go outside and take a picture of grass or uh, something else equivalent. I don't know, rocks. We're going to use these two, rock and grass. You can get dirt. You can take pictures of kids. I don't care what you take care of. You can take pictures of wherever you want and put them on here. We're going we're gonna to make a material real quick. Right click, create a material, name it floor, because that's what we're modifying today. And I'm just going to double click it and go into it like we usually do. Now, what's cool about this is I'm just going to drag the grass in here. Just the picture of it and plug it in the base color like we usually did. There's our sphere showing what it's going to look like. We'll go ahead and save that. And I'm going to plot to the floor and just show you what it's done. Instead of a collar, we have this picture. There we go. So it kind of like repeats itself over the floor. If you get too far away, you can kind of see it repeating, but it doesn't look bad when you're close down like this. Anyway, super simple. You can also change it. You can double click it here, click on the texture, scroll down this little panel and pick the rock that I have here. And you can just save that and we can see what it's going to look like. It'll put the rock on the ground now. How cute is that? You know what I'm talking about? This 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 light that's kind of here, it'll make sense eventually. But anyway, so I'm going to walk you guys through a few tricks. So What's really neat about this is textures can come with you can you can make what's called normal maps and normal maps pretty much here's your grass and then a height map to kind of fake all the rivets that are in there is what's called a normal map so the grass normal map is right here the blue being the flat and the red and green being height depth from stuff like that let me just show you how it works we'll go to the material here again and I'm going to get rid of this rock for now we're gonna bring in the grass and I'll even bring in the grass normal map so simple enough I'll plug in the normal map first to show you how it works. It's really cool what it does to the image. Um, if you see what it's doing here, it's creating the rivets into the system or into the material. So it kind of makes it, it fakes with the realistic lighting when it fakes all the rivets. Those are just shadows and blah, blah, blah. We well, plug them both in like this and we kind of get a pretty neat looking, uh, pretty neat looking mossy grass. So now if we go back and look at it on the floor, you can tell the light is kind of like making it look neat or some word. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty neat what you can do. It's just definitely a little more realistic. Normal maps are definitely awesome. Um, what I'm going to do is do the whole lerping thing like we did before and show you guys you can blend the rock and the grass, normals and all, and it'll look really cool. It's as simple as this. We'll drag in these other two materials, which is just the rock and the rock's normal map. You know, literally just what we did before. If you remember in the last video, we worked with lerping, which is one of my favorite things to do. I love it. You can hold L and click. I mean, there's one, there's one, and I'll make a third one. So check this out. We're going to put rock on top and we'll put grass. Oh, sorry. We'll put rock on top and we'll put grass on the bottom. And then I'll take the rocks normal map and I'll put the grass normal map on the bottom. This one's got its lerp and this one's got its lerp. And you guys remember last video, if not Photoshop, GIMP, they all got like noise and grass or noise textures, cloud textures. It's like a black and white alpha image. I'm going to take one that Unreal gives me. It's called Macro. It's one of my favorites. The word also sounds really cool and it makes me feel better about myself. So, you know, I'm quickly going to just plug in a couple things to it to make it look a little prettier, which probably doesn't make much sense. But the point of the entire situation is we're going to plug these into our lerps now, just like we did last time. So we'll plug the, gra the rock into A and the grass into B. And we'll have it lerped from this. Same here. We're going to plug the rock into A and the grass into B. And we'll lerp it from this. And basically, once again, we're making the black rock and the white grass and as you can tell it's not working and that's because this isn't plugged in the lerp has to be plugged in and this lerp has to be plugged in so the final product is plugged into that and now we're going to see what it looks like and it's going to be like a rocky mossy nasty that this is what it looks like and it's pretty cool i mean it looks pretty neat you know you can play with it the last thing i was going to do is you guys remember last time we lerped the roughness or lerp the roughness that's exactly what i'm going to do plug in just the red channel in because i only need single digits instead of three Pretty much the rock here and the grass here. Well, how rough do you want it to be? I mean, that's what I'm thinking about it, and that, that sounds odd. But, I mean, we'll go ahead and say rock needs to be kind of wet. That's even odder. So we'll go with like a 0.15. And that's, you know, from 0 to 1, 0 being super smooth and, and, and you know, 1 being completely rough. And then we'll go with a 0.9 for the grass. The grass doesn't need to reflect light, but the rock may need to. And that's what we're going to do. And let's check it out. We'll call this our final product and it don't look too bad i think it worked as you can tell the rock is kind of reflecting light and the grass is not 
and now and now you're a professional that this is all that you need to know absolute pro you're gonna get paid and and thank you guys for watching check out the project torture page it's pretty cool what's coming along and uh Thanks for, we're going to put some more material videos and stuff like that. But anyway, you guys have a good one and I'll be back on soon with more videos and more cool things that we're doing with this Unreal Engine 4. Thanks. Bye.